As a boy, Baram Akradi built his exercise equipment and developed his own training plans. As Lifetime Fitness Chairman and CEO, he continues in that spirit, revolutionizing and expanding the potential, scope, and role of the fitness club. Akradi moved to the U.S. in 1978. While earning an engineering degree at college, he worked selling memberships for a fitness club when he wasn't in class, but soon found himself earning more than he ever could as an engineer. The company wanted to move to Minnesota to open up a club. They offered me you know, to go and I said no, and then they made a financial offer I couldn't refuse. His success brought him to Minnesota with the opportunity of managing the company's newest club. Once here, he expanded his goals using his business savvy to identify and secure properties. He then employed his engineering talent to design innovative and much larger clubs, all based on his own experience as a club user. The people who build business from financial point of view or their point of view, they're not necessarily delivering the best product to the customer. I know some do, but not necessarily. But if you build the product from a customer point of view, it shapes itself and then you let the customer use it and then you learn, oh, this is too small, I need to make that one bigger, I need to expand that area, I need to improve this. You just watch your customer. Mm -hmm. And if you can watch your customer and react fast enough, you look like a genius. Uh, but you're just really watching your customer and reacting. Already an executive vice president at 22, Akradi was made a one-eighth partner but soon, Akradi struck out on his own to put his customer-centric ideas to work when the company was bought out by their rival, Bally's. I negotiated a great deal and a lease and uh, did, a, did the worst case scenario, which was I sell my house and I live out of the club. Yeah, I mean, I literally sold my cars, sold everything I had to get that one going. And uh, we had to have, you know, the goal was 2,700 memberships after one year, and we had 2,702 with literally working our tail off. But it was the platform that allowed me to get a going concern, and then I was able to really build, uh, to get the deal going to build the club in Egan, which was the first club that was what I had designed to begin with. It was a 65,000 square feet box that I believed it should be. Its grand size and amenities gave investors a taste of Akradi's vision for lifetime. He took the company public in 2004 and has continued to develop, improve, and expand lifetime ever since. Today, his ideas extend beyond simply opening more lifetime clubs. He sees significant opportunities for applying technology to truly individualized health screenings for members and engaging them in highly specific diet and training plans. Lifetime also has created healthy food cafes inside many of its locations, and it publishes a monthly healthy living magazine, Experience Life. As I look out there, the opportunities to impact people's lives and build this healthy way of life company is truly endless.